Following the resignation of our uh, prior athletics director in June, we commenced this national search, and, and of course I just introduced uh, the search committee, and our, our board of supervisors for the University of Louisiana system has very specific rules uh, that we have to follow in uh, conducting uh, searches for certain positions. Athletic director is one of those positions. Uh, so we went through the, the national search process. We had uh, 34 uh, applicants for the position. The search committee conducted telephone interviews and then eventually brought two uh, candidates uh, on campus for intensive campus interviews uh, before making their final recommendation to me. So today after that very extensive and thorough search process, I'm very excited to announce that I have submitted J.R. Teague's name to our board for their approval. I'm going to say a little bit more, you know, just a few other good things about you, Jay. Um, all of you know that uh, before he uh, started serving as the interim athletics director, Jay was the head baseball coach here at Southeastern for about eight years, and he did an exemplary job in that position. He led the team uh, to be very competitive uh, purely from an athletic point of view, but he, he also uh, led that team to be extraordinarily successful in terms of the academic success of those student athletes. He recruited very capable student athletes and he managed the program in a way that allowed them to, to be very successful in terms of their team GPA, graduation rates, APR, and certainly the academic success of our student athletes is, is a big part of what we're about. Jay also has been one of the most successful coaches uh, here at the university in terms of uh, raising both external funds to support his program but also in uh, generating community interest and support for his program and uh, that's certainly one of the strengths that came out in the search process that as we look to move Lion Athletics program forward uh, that we think Jay can help us make some significant strides in, in those areas. And since taking the reins uh, as interim AD just a few months ago he dove right in and never looked back and uh, he's worked really hard to address a number of substantive issues that needed immediate attention. He's shown uh, resilience and leadership and great commitment to Lion Athletics, Southeastern Louisiana University and our community and I will tell you that I believe that he is exactly the right person at the right time to lead Lion Athletics. So please welcome J.R. Teagues as Athletic Director for Southeastern Louisiana University. One small caveat, and then I'm going to turn the microphone over to Jay. None of us are allowed to refer to him as coach anymore, okay? <laughs> We've all been guilty of that. We've been calling him Coach Artigues. And I, I stopped a couple of staff members the other day. I said, he's not a coach anymore. He's AD. You have to quit calling him that. So we're not going to call you coach anymore. Now, I know we're supposed to listen to Dr. Crane, but y'all can stop him. I'm always, I'm always in the I got a little worried when I came in. I saw this microphone so high. I thought somebody else got the job. <laughs> That made me sweat a little bit. But I just want to first, but I want to introduce my family first before I forget because I get wrapped up in talk and I'll forget. You know, eight years ago was my first, last press conference here when I first got the baseball job and my family was here at the time. My wife, Rachel, my son, Casey, and my oldest son, Champ. And it was a little different then. It was nine years ago, excuse me. They were running around and knocked down the podium back here. Excuse me, the backdrop running around. So hopefully they'll behave a little bit better this time around. Also, in the back, my mom, my dad are here, my sister Ashley, my brother-in-law Byron, and my, my two godchildren, Annie and Isla. They're not my godchildren, but they should have been. That's my, she would have been my godchildren. <laughs> but I want to first start by thanking Dr. Crane for having the confidence in me to put me in this position. You know, this is an extreme honor. I'm very honored. I'm also very humbled. You know, there's a lot of people to thank, and I'll probably exclude some people by accident, and I apologize if I do. But the committee, and I heard Dr. Crane mention the committee. I know the hard work that goes into those things. You know, I've sat on them. I've been on both sides of the table. There's a lot of hard work that goes in that. So the hiring committee that did all the work, I appreciate, especially Sam Damiano. I know there's a lot of work into it. Sam had a lot of breakfasts and lunches with me, probably more than he wanted. But I appreciate it very much and all the hard work y'all did for this. Thank you very much. Um, you know, nine years ago when I sat here, I didn't know a lot of people in, at Southeastern. You know, I know a few people, know a lot of people in Hammond from my time when I was at St. Thomas High School. But I see a lot of faces here that were here at the press conference nine years ago. Now you build those relationships, it's not just faces. You know, you, you know it's when you see people like Gary Sandifer and Mason Foster and JD3, um, some of my favorite people in Hammond. That's what makes it special. 
you know, Southeast is a special place, you know, and I remember, you know, my wife and I, we sat down, we talked about, you know, Southeast and, and what we want, you know, what we want is to be here for a long time. And I told Dr. Crane that this, you either have to fire me or I'm going to retire from here. One or the other is going to happen. Hopefully it's going to be retired, <laughs> but one or the other will happen because I'm not going anywhere. My family doesn't want to go anywhere. We love this community. You know, Hammond to me is probably the best place in America to raise a family. And that's important to me to have these these two guys raised here with you guys. And we say it a lot. You know, I talked to our baseball president. I was coaching baseball about when we sign you, it's not a two or four year commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. You're lying for life. And you see that when you look around this room, you see that put the action. You know, some of the people I mentioned, some of the people walking around here, Denise Lee and their family, and, you know, Coach McGee and his family. That's what Southeastern is all about. You know, it, it's not about the beautiful campus, which we have. Or the beautiful facilities, it's the people. You know, it, it is a family. And everybody talks about a family atmosphere. Southeastern acts it and lives it every single day. And that's what separates us from everybody else. That's why I want to be a part of this for a long, long time to come. I also want to thank, and I couldn't get away without doing that, thank my staff in baseball. You know, I see them hiding back there, you know, Coach Riser and Coach Latham and our new coaches, uh, Coach Zuli back there, Coach Morgan. Thank them for all the work they did. Made me look like I knew what I was doing for eight years. They really did 99% of the work. I took the most of the credit and I gave them most of the blame. Just kidding. And they remind me all the time that I'm not the easiest guy to work for. And they used to tell me that quite a bit, so they might have been right on that one. But I want to thank them. They made my job very, very easy. The players that I had for the last eight years, the coaches that I had for the last eight years did a great job and put me in that position. I really appreciative of what they've done. Also, for the last eight, ten weeks, however long I've been in the interim role, I really want to thank all the coaches, the football coaches, the soccer coach, every coach on our staff have really done a great job of helping me along the way. Our staff downstairs, Miss Anna and the entire staff, have pretty much held me by the hand and showed me what to do because I, I was kind of lost for a while. I'm kind of still lost. But I really appreciate what y'all have done to make my first two months on the job very easy. And thank y'all for all y'all have done. You know, this isn't, one person can't do this. You know, one person can't run the university. One person can't run athletics. It's a group effort. And that's what makes us so special. That's what makes us so exciting. You know, this time, you know, we know the challenge we're facing with the state. You know, we all know that. But I'm not the type of personality that just wants to survive. I want to see our programs thrive. Winning is extremely important to me. I'm a very sore loser, you know, and to me the best solution to that is to win. I don't have to worry about it, you know, but you do that in a lot of different ways. You know, we built a baseball program on what we call the three C's, being committed to the classroom, the community, and competition. It's going to be the same thing for our whole athletic department. Being really involved and in doing a tremendous job of excelling in the classroom is important. Being involved in community is extremely important, and obviously winning on the field and competition is extremely important. But to me, you can't be great on the field and slack in the classroom or the community. It goes hand in hand. The staff that we have in every single sport we have, there's no reason why we shouldn't be successful. That's why I'm excited about being a part of it. I look forward to the challenges. I'm aware of the challenges. As Dr. Crane pointed out, when he offered me his position, he said, you've been in there for two months. You still want this job? And I said, absolutely. I can't wait to hit the ground running. But thank everybody for coming today. It really means a lot to see so many friendly faces in, in the audience. I appreciate all y'all done for me this far. And Dr. Crane, thank you for this opportunity. Thanks a bunch.